Welcome to West 10 Media Signing Day coverage. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Now check out the next athlete, student athlete, that's going to secure their future. Yeah, but... Hi, it's Thomas Sutter Jr. here with another signing day. Very special day, Braxton Shaw. Congratulations, you're heading out to UT Martin. How does that feel? It feels great. Um, you know, I say that I prayed about this time for a very, very long time. And I'm just blessed to be in this situation. Well, I talked to Mom. She said you were gifted and blessed from day one. You skipped the crawling stage and the walking stage. She said you went straight to running. So you're a born athlete? I guess you could say that. that is, I mean, that is, I, I mean, I guess that's true. My mom has always told me that's what I've done, I did when I was at that age. So, what can I say? Yeah, I was just born to run. And Dad said when you were about 40 years, you should have been in football. And growing up down there in Texas, and unfortunately, your dad was Cowboy. Fortunately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you grew up in a football haven down there. We need to follow up again. I don't really know. I mean, I fell in love with it. I like, yeah, I've always been, I was always around football, but I was also like, I played basketball, I didn't play basketball, but I did a little basketball too. But I, I guess I'd say whenever I came down here to play for the Bulldogs, that's whenever like the spark came to me. So 13 years ago, the family moved to Tennessee. Dad's from here, mom's from Mississippi. And now you're getting your feet settled here. And you are a Tennessee County Park. You're a Tennessee County kid. But then, when did you discover track? Well, I my first year running was seventh grade, and I was forced into it then. <laughs> what did you mean forced into it? Uh, well, the thing is, I didn't want to run track at all. I was like, you know, I don't want to run. What's the point of me running? Yeah, just running. Run. <laughs> yeah, crazy. What's the point of me just running for sport? But you know. I did it then. I did pretty good. The eighth graders were very supportive that year. Um, then eighth grade I ran again. Then once when I got into high school at uh, Brighton, I just didn't. I, I just didn't want to do it. I was like, no, this isn't it. But then eventually, or I came here junior year, and I had to set in my mind that I did not want to run track. I tell you. But so, uh, so which one got you? Was it Coach Walker or Coach? Arden? It was actually Coach Calhoun. Whoa, football coach. Yeah, because uh, like the thing is, I talked to Coach Walters and Coach Ivan when I first came here. And they were like, yeah, we want you to run track. And I was like, oh, okay, you know. Okay, yeah, I was like, uh-huh. But then Calhoun, he came to me. He was like, you're running track. Okay. No choice. You're running track. So. But how much of a lesson was it? Because your quarterback, Bell, is there. Your, your teammate, Cobb, is there. I'm going to share the back of there. Jace is there. How much of a lesson was it to share the track with those guys? No, it was it was an amazing lesson, honestly. Um, that was also a reason to why I ran. Cause I was like, you know, yeah, it's not like eighth grade. Or actually, it reminded me of eighth grade because like I had a I had a lot of guys that were, you know, pretty quick with me. And I just I, I, for some reason I just felt like I, I saw the potential that I, what our track team could do. That four by one team. Did that help with the transition from Brighton to Mark? Oh yeah, for sure. Cause like you know, I first came here, I, like I knew I knew people. You know, I'm right down the street, we're rivals. Yeah. But it was just like trying to build that bond with everybody, and I really needed to build that bond with my quarterback and the receiver, <laughs> and you know. Yeah. So that really, you know, that really helped, honestly. But speaking of help, Brighton has helped you here today. What would you like to say to the good people to that school like that? <laughs> honestly, I'm. I, I have all the respect in the world to that school right there. Cause I, you're right. Without them, I wouldn't be the kid I am today. And honestly, they build, they build the person I am. So, you know, of course, my parents, my mother, and everything. But it's just like they, they, they let me walk so I can run to them. I try. Right, teachers and ministry. Right? Yeah. How much of a blessing is Martha High School to Dr. to feed to the administrators, Coach Kyle, and all of them? How much are they doing blessings? Um, they they have brought me out. Like, you know, I wouldn't say I was in a shell at Brighton, but they when I came here they just they saw my like the what's the word like potential. my yes, the potential that I had and they were like, you know what, we're gonna bring that out of him. And I tell you that with like without them, I wouldn't be here, you know? I wouldn't be signed right now. Well let's wrap things up. The foundation of all that was laid out. Mom and dad, grandparents who are educators and teachers, 
talk about how family kept you get today to where you were so blessed that you had an option of football to play as a region football player of the year, 10 9 9 in track. But all those options wouldn't have been there if you didn't have a good people in your life from day one. What would you like to say to them? I love it. I always do. I'm around the Frame family, and it's just like, you know, my granddad, he, I really say he really, he really gave it. He, he's the real. He's the real. I mean, he prayed, he prayed over me up, up and down. I mean, everyone has, but I just like, he would always tell me, you know, just pray about it and everything. And what's crazy about it is that at the time, I had, I had called him probably an hour before. I was, uh, the coach gave me her number, he gave me an offer and everything. I had called him an hour before, and like I had told him, I was like, what's your plans? And I was like, well, you know, I'm thinking about just being a student. I went to Memphis and just, I don't know, started, like, started my life, you know? And he just called me, he just, he just told me, don't worry, it's going to come. I'm praying for you, you pray about it, I promise you, it will be here. What's your name? Percy Grease. Mr. Percy, prayers will continue to be left young because the journey's not over yet. Because you got to head up to London, Tennessee and make this guy most proud. Congratulations. Thank you.